Hello YouTube lad, my name is Nathan and you're watching Robot Masters. Here in front of me we have a bunch of hair that I scattered around. We're gonna see how well the robot can pick up the hair in one pass. Also, we'll see if the hair can remain tangled free in its extractors. So let's go ahead and look at the cleaning mechanics of both robots. The Roborock S50 on the left and the Roomba S9 on the right. As you can see right off the bat, the Roomba S9 has a dual extractor design, whereas the Roborock S50 has a combo style brush. On the Roomba S9, you can see that the brushes roll inward to help pick up debris. On the Roborock S50, it's a uh, combination of silicone and bristles. The Roborock S50 side brush is larger than the Roomba S9 side brush. So the Roborock S50 has four clip sensors, whereas the Roomba S9 has four up in the front and there's two towards the rear. They both do really well not falling off the table. Notice the placement of the wheel caster. The Roomba S9 has it in the back, whereas the Roborock S50 has it up in the front. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the Roborock S50 extractor. It's real easy to pop the cover off and remove it from the robot. I purposely used the one down extractor on both the S50 and S9 because I wanted to see how well these two extractors can perform. I did the best I can to clean out most of the hair and debris from both extractors. Now I'm looking for if it, the hair will get wrapped around the extractors or the axles. So that's the whole point of this test because in reality most robots can pick up hair. It's just how hard it is to maintain them afterwards. Both robot extractors are real easy to reinstall. You just place them back in and install the cover. Let's go ahead and look at the Roomba S9. It's just a one push of the green button and a little tab lifts up. Both extractors come out real easily. And we'll look at the design of this. So because the S9 doesn't have bristles on its extractors, I suspect the hairs can get wrapped around more towards the axles, not on the actual extractor itself. So the S9 has two unique style patterns on the extractors. Uh, they're both made out of a kind of a rubbery silicone based material. And you can see how easy it was just to pull the hair off the axles. So these extractors could be washable. One thing to note is both of them have a little metal piece at the end. So keep in mind that if they get wet, they could rust. This is also applies to the Roborock S50. So what do you guys think? Which robot will do better with the hair test? Um, my suspicion is the Roomba S9 will do better due to the higher suction and its unique bristle-free extractor design. I know both robots can pick up the hair, but one will have more tangles. So let's start with the Roomba S9. Um, I just laid down a bunch of hair varying in different lengths and this kind of helps simulate pet hair. Uh, the reason I did on a glass table is I want to see if the hair gets pushed around or if the robot has the capabilities of sucking the hair up using the vacuum. So the Roomba's S9 definitely had the ability to pull the hair in towards the extractor before the extractor ever got to the hair. So in one pass, the S9 was able to pick up all the hair. And so up next is the Roborock S50. We'll see how well it does in the same hair test. So the Roborock S50 sits up higher, also has less airflow, so that might affect its ability to clean the hair in one pass. Keep in mind I chose to put the hair on glass, a smooth surface, so it makes it harder for the hair to be picked up. On carpet, the hair would be a lot easier for the robot to pick it up. So as we slow it down, you can see that the hair doesn't quite make it into the extractors. It kind of gets pushed along for a bit. The Roblox had to make a couple turns before it was able to kind of wiggle the hair through 
into its extractors, but it did manage to get the hair in. So as the Roblox turned left and the side brush was on the right side of the robot, it was able to use the side brush to pull the hair towards the extractors. You'll be able to see this right now. Okay, let's have a quick look at the two robots extractors and see which one had more hair tangles. So it's always good to make sure you clean the hair out periodically off the extractors. It's not as a big deal with the upright vacuum because it has more power, but with a robot vacuum, even just some minor hair can cause additional resistance and strain on the motor. So for the most part, the hair was just wrapped around the axles. There was some minor hairs wrapped around the extractor itself, but it did a decent job. So I found that the hair around the ends of the Roomba S9 extractors are easier since there's no cap that the hair has to get routed around to. Okay, let's have a look at the Roomba S9 and see if there's any hair on its extractors. The first one looks pretty clean. Don't see any hair in the middle or on the ends. Looks like it did a fairly decent job on that one. We'll go ahead and check the second one up here. And just from what I see, yep, there's no hair wrapped around and there's no hair wrapped around the ends as well. So the Roomba S9 did a little bit better job making sure the hair didn't get caught up in its extractors. Let's see if both robots picked up the hair. Okay, how did these robots do? Here's the Roomba S9 on the left and the Roblox S50 on the right. Looks like most of the hair got into both of their bins. Since the S9 did so well not getting any hair on its extractors, I tried to do an extreme hair test, see if it can suck up these two 16 inch long hair strands. Looks like it sucked up the hair no problem. Let's see if the hair got wrapped up in its extractors. Yep, I suspect the hair was too long and a little too much for the Roomba S9 to handle. But one nice thing about the extractor design, it's real easy to get the hair off. So with just one hand, I was able to remove the hair off by just slowly pushing the hair up towards the center of the extractor. So thanks for watching and if you haven't done so, Please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks.